Yeah. Now, Robbie, in the third quarter, were you thinking you could do this for another year? Uh, nah, I was just concentrating on trying to kick straight, which didn't go all that well for me. But nah, I felt good out there. Boys played really well, and that makes your job easier when you're, when you're playing forward. So um, put in a really strong performance, and it was a, a nice game to finish on. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. Um, crowd was enormous. Um, it's been a big week, and um, yeah, I feel really, like I said earlier, I feel really grateful for all the support and the love um, this week. So uh, to go out and for the boys to perform the way we did was was a special night. Talk to us about that moment in the pocket, 50 metres out. Were you thinking, or <laughs> always going to Marshall? Nah, there was a lot going through my mind. Um, I was wondering if I could get there, but probably thought I would be no hope unless I kicked the barrel, so... I was praying barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Decided against that, saw Toddy free and um, passed it off to him. So that was good. The boys tried to look after me, and if I could jump a bit higher or move a little bit better, I would have got a few of those balls, but it didn't quite work out, but it didn't matter. You know, it was a fantastic game to finish on. By contrast, what about the first one in this pocket here, the one that you did score? Uh, which one was that? The very first one. The one you kicked the goal. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, um, yeah, it was probably on my limit as well, but I was probably a touch closer in, so I um, struck it OK and managed to get there. And I think Dicko did some good work on the line just to make sure it got over it. You said you were emotional, I think, at the end there. What was it actually like um, walking off the ground with the guard of honour? Trav, obviously, <coughs> a big hug after the final sign. Just all those moments, can you? Uh, yeah, it's hard to. I, it was probably just the last. I knew there was 15, 30 seconds to go um, with that last centre bounce. So, um, you know, I was obviously down the goal square and had the cheer squad and the fans behind me. So, um, yeah, it got to me a little bit. And then, yeah, the first bloke I think I saw was Trav. So, um, got to me a little bit. But um, it's been a, an amazing week and, and feeling very grateful. Tom Jonas says there was never a doubt they were going to win for you. Did you sense that from within the group that they were emotionally driven to win this game for you? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. I, I mean, you never quite know with showdowns, but I knew the boys were, were up and about and, um, you know, been a pretty big build-up uh, throughout the week with everything, everything that was going on. So, um, you know, I was always confident. I'm always confident in my teammates and I know how good these guys are. So. Um, always try to get up for showdowns and, um, yeah, like I said earlier, the boys played a really strong game. Robbie, what was it like to be, I guess, in the room, you know, Matty Palmer's way, Gavin Waning before the game, all those legends of the club? Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was an amazing feeling and, you know, a lot of those guys I played with in my early days, so, and Matty obviously coached me and, and had a big influence on my career as well, so it was, uh, it was really special, so, you know, to have those guys that I've played with in the past or been coached by in the past and um, and obviously everyone that's currently at the club and all the love and support this week, um, you know, from Kenny in particular. Um, you know, he's spoken a few times this week and he's just done so much for me over um, the last 10 years since he's been at the club and, and really got the best out of me. So I owe so much to, to him. Um, and... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm um, really keen to see how they bounce back next year. And I know they've got a lot of confidence in the group, but um, I know it's been a tough year at the footy club. But um, you know, I just wanted to thank this man next to me for everything he's done for me and uh, my family over the last 10 years. He's, um, you know, he's always been there for me on and off the field. So I'm very appreciative. Do you enjoy being the centre of attention this week? The centre of attention game when everyone, you know, looking for you at, in the fourth quarter, you know, trying to get you the ball? <laughs> yeah, like I said, they, um, they tried to look after me in the last quarter, but um, couldn't quite get on the end of a couple of those, but um, it was it was great fun, and, you know, the boys were, were on top, were kicking goals, and, um, you know, to be celebrating with the boys, and it was just a really good team performance, and... Um, a good way to finish off the year. Boys played amazing footy last week as well, so a couple of good wins to, to go into the summer. And um, you know, I know the group's really keen to hit that really hard and, and make sure that we get that right and or, and they can get that right and bounce back next year and, and go better. Well, has anyone been brave enough to ask for the number nine Guernsey yet? 
Uh, no, not yet. Is in another player? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 nothing's been spoken about. Do you want to hand it off to anyone? Is anyone in mind? Or? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There might, there might be, but I haven't um, spoken to anyone yet, and that might be a, um, something I'll think about in the next few days, or I'm not sure if how that all works sort of thing, so we'll just wait and see. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I did. Yep. There's no doubt we can't not refer to a person who's so important to us as a as a person and, and, a, and a footballer. So yeah, it was impossible not to refer to him a number of times this week. And um, you know, I, I get emotional with him all the time. But this week, I found it particularly hard. I haven't enjoyed saying goodbye. Um, I know goodbye is not forever, but from a footballer's point of view, it's really bloody hard. And um, uh, he um, he just done so much for me for 10 years, you know, and he's talked about that, but he's given me more back than I've given him. And um, I've got his tag in my pocket because I'm not letting it go. He's staying with me. And I'm going to make a case the AFL next year to play 24 in round one. Um, he's not going to be listed, but I'm going to try and play him again. I just, you can't let go of people like Robbie. And if, if football was the way I got to stay involved with him, I was, I was really appreciative of that. But I'm equally as appreciative of the friendship and the person. and. Um, I won't be letting him go, and he won't. He won't be letting me go. I'm sure it'll be just plenty of plenty of talk around good things now that not just football. So that was an emotional week. Okay. Was it like Tom said, it was always going to be a win because it was for Robbie Gray. Oh, I shit myself at the bridge because I wanted it to be a win. And you know when you sometimes in life want so much so badly that it doesn't quite happen. You know I've been through that in footy a lot of times. I've probably been through that in life. Um, but I wanted this really, really badly. His teammates, the club, everyone that's been involved with him just wanted it so badly. And sometimes when you're that in that desperation, you cannot play at your absolute best. Great credit to the boys, led by Tom and Ollie. They, they played really strong footy tonight. Well, it does have the I'll answer first because, yes, we, we, Robbie won't be lost to our footy club. Um, Rob's obviously got a young family, Val and the kids to, to take care of and what, what path that is. I know with Chris who's in the room, there's no chance that Robbie won't be in some way representing Port Adelaide for as long as he wants. So that's up to Rob from there. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I'll probably just take a minute at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, sure what it'll look like, but. Um, and obviously, done a little bit of work in the recruiting and list management space with with our guys Jeff Parker and Jason Cripps over the years because that's been a bit of an interest. So whether it's something like that, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, I'll just take a take a little minute now and um, take a bit of time off, a bit of time with the family, and see where we go from there. Was there any special like it's message in the room after after this week? You know, we're always final game together. No, it was not so much special. It was about, I mean, there's a little bit around Robbie, but today was around game day. It was around playing football the right way. You know, we, we knew there was a build up to the game, which there always is with the showdown. So we just needed to really focus our, our attention on playing good footy, and we thought we did that really well. I thought we, um, you know, from a footy point of view, we played a really strong game against a team who, to their credit, have, have um, keep on getting a little bit better. And as they go through the season, they have, and they make it tough and they make it challenging. They play. Um, you know, a, a, a tough in tight game, with, um, with which forces you to the contest, which we were capable of and, ca and handled really well. So it was a good result. Can you explain where you went in the rack wide, defence wide, because Finlayson looks like he's going to do everything he possibly had. You got two blokes in the back who don't get everything they had. What stress was there in those pressure points? Uh, yeah, there's, there's obviously always a little bit, but you know, and um, you know, we we won enough, but lost lost quite a few in, in contests at times. But um, yeah, there's a bit of stress, but it has been all year. We've we've managed to fight our way through. We haven't played and got to the level that we'd expect to get to, but you know, proud of the fact that we have found a way. Feels, feels like this one of the first showdown medal kind of wins. What was your sort of view on him tonight? Robbie on. Oh, Robbie's viewer. <laughs> I think he thinks he's OK. I, I nearly told him halfway through the last quarter that he might have it in the back. <laughs> he was going that well, and it's quite hard to tell sometimes when you're out there. But yeah, he was definitely he's had an amazing year and 
He's so young still to be able to do what he's done this year. So um, incredibly bright future for him and a number of other young guys. And he was, he was, he was clear, you know, him and Ollie were, but kind of separate himself. He, he'll get 10 coaches votes again. He'll probably finish in the top three or four. Um, if they've got, haven't got him in the All-Australian team, they, they haven't been watching footy. But that's, that's not for us to pick from. But, you know, the reality is um, Connor has had a... He's one of the people who's had a really special year. He's really emerged. He's a... We're not going to take over from Robbie Gray, but he's, he's emerging to shoulder the load that Rob's probably going to leave behind with a couple of others. Have you been surprised at how good Connor's been this year? Because I know at the start of the season, he's playing forward. He, he wasn't you know, setting the world on fire, but he seems to be in the midfield. He's incredibly yes. to be in this whole Australian team. Yeah, well, he's, 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 he's typical of young people. They take a bit of time to, to totally get hold of the game. And when they do, they, you know, he continually gets better. He's 22. He's a remarkable player that we put a lot of... Jason and Parks put a lot of time in to make sure we got him. And the club went hard to get him for, for obvious reasons. Um, the three boys, I think, again tonight, um, Connor, Zach and Xavier, who came in the same draft, it was good to see them all play well together again. Ken, how's the big picture of the straight after a game? It's the end of the season. You had two big wins early against teams that aren't final contenders. But what's the big picture feel like to you at the moment? Oh, it's a challenge at the moment, so it's probably the right time to reflect on the big picture. It's probably not so much tonight. Give us some time to, to go through it because clearly we've said um, we haven't we haven't got anywhere near our expectation this year. So the big picture would be we, we haven't we haven't been successful in 2022. But I'm really confident that 2023, with the right decisions and the and the right uh, management, that we can we can bounce. But footy's bloody hard. You've got to get everything right. And we found at the start of the year, if you mess it up at the start, you chase your tail for too long. Oh, I, the groups. The groups improving. The group's still quite young. I mean, we have got some more senior players, and one now, no longer. But you know, we've, we're basically coming now on the back of people under 25, and I think that's clear. Uh, you know, we're Trav's not even holding. You know, Trav's had a great year, but he's he's not relied upon as much as Robbie and Trav have been over the journey. So our, our group of young people are um, are emerging. I'm sure everyone who's here tonight watching Port Adelaide. Would, would acknowledge the people who are coming through that are pretty talented people, but you've still got to do lots of things right to collectively, not individually. Rob, when you speak, everyone listens. So, be it to the players or the fans, what, what do they need to take from this moment? Where does Port go from here? How do they get to where they want to be? Um, well, I said, um, I said earlier in the week how confident I am that they will bounce uh, next year. Um, you know, this year's been disappointing, but I like Ken, I, I know that we're a lot better than this and I spoke about the younger guys during the week and having them have another year behind them um, and the you've seen the growth of those guys this year so with another pre-season and another year what those guys will be able to because I think those guys are going to take us take us forward into the future but um, yeah I'm, I'm super excited for and optimistic about how the group will go next year um, you know we played in prelims the last couple of years and yeah, this was a disappointing year, but um, I feel like some of those younger guys have taken massive leaps this year and um, will continue to next year, and another couple underneath will come up as well. So um, I feel there's a bright future. And given that you know, Rob's fine and Rassi only has to play for a couple of games, does that make the small forward, I guess, the biggest kind of issue you faced in the off-season in terms of, you know, recruitment? Yeah, well, again, without getting too far ahead from tonight, because tonight we're recognising him, and, and, we, sh and we should, because he's been absolutely great. Um, but there's parts of our team that, that are clearly needing some bolstering, and we'll, we'll be really aggressive and be really really certain about what we're after and what we're looking for. So we'll, we'll, we'll make those decisions as we go through. But there's areas of our, ground, of our game that we'd like to strengthen, but, you know, and that's certainly one of them, because we've lost some people. But we, we're really confident on Ratio getting back too. Yeah, well, Jeremy got a collision in the ruck at the end um, and Mitch rolled his ankle again and it's been bugging him for the last half of the year, to be fair. So uh, it was pretty simple that we needed to um, look after him, take him out. Again, you talk about emerging players and what they've got. He's got lots of it. Well, there's a man who right at a grain <coughs> end of the security game goes with you on the same day. Have you thought about Paddy? Yeah. What's that, sorry? Anything you want to say about Paddy here? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I texted him earlier today when I, I saw the news. Um, yeah, obviously we had a, a special relationship out in the ground and he's been, he's just a, a genius at his craft. Um, 
really, and to be able to play with him for the number of years that he was here, it was uh, it was always great fun. Um, you know, he um, he was really smart. He saw the game really well. He knew where to put the ball, um, how to set up against his oppo ruckman, what he needed to do, um, and yeah, it was definitely um, he made us our job's easier at ground level, being able to, to stand under him and, and know he was going to get it done in the ruck. And, you know, we had some, we had some great moments together and, um, you know, he's just had an amazing career for how long he's gone. And, you know, he's had the issues with the Achilles since his time here, but um, he's still been a super important player right up until the end of his age. And, um, yeah, he's, um, he's a really good person and wish him all the best with what's next. Yeah, were you surprised that the come up? Um, you know, Tom and Ollie in the early stages of the game after what they said in the week? No, well, no, I'm sorry, surprised. I'm trying to answer that correctly. It was a, all the rivalry is real, but the, the contest was fierce out there tonight. There was no, you know, there was no back steps taken by by either team. So I didn't think it was like the, the days of what you might have seen 20, 30 years ago was never, never that. You just have to be brave enough to keep your head over the ball. And I think both teams did that pretty well tonight. And I think we ended up maybe just in front in the contest. So that's a good result. What was the message to Jeremy when um, I think up the second three kicking on gave way to left the ball in the ruck, you know, running straight up to him in the ruck. Yeah, what was the message to him? Stop giving away free kicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeremy's been another person who's been really fabulous for us this year. So again, we haven't got to where we'd like to in 2022. I'll leave it in the send-off, the great man. Uh, he's, he's been a pleasure to coach. He's deserved everything he's got. Thank you all. Thank you.